What's up guys? So today I have a cool preset breakdown for my Slash fans. I feel like I haven't made uh, some Slash content uh, in a while, so I thought I would make a little preset for my Slash fans, for my Axe FX users. So what you guys heard was just a double track kind of um, slither type rhythm uh, tone that this preset is uh, made in the style of that song. If you don't know the song, it is in drop D, so um, we're in standard tuning and then we just drop the um, sixth string down a whole step to drop D. Slash usually plays in E flat, so it's a different kind of preset for a slash tone. So start with that, of course, that's always important. Uh, for this tone, I use my Les Paul that has a 57 classic pickups. I use the bridge pickup, obviously, for the main kind of rhythm stuff, and you can switch to the neck pickup for some more lead stuff, and we'll play a little bit of that. Uh, for amp models, I decided to use the pretty much JCM 800 with some kind of a mod. Uh, so it's a modded Marshall 800. Uh, the gain is a little bit lower because I do hear the song is a bit chewy and because it's a uh, double tracked, uh, depending on how hot your pickups are, you may want that a little higher or it may work at around four or five for you, depending on, of course, double tracking. If you're kind of doing more of a mono thing, then you may want to run that a little higher. Uh, the bass, five, mid, uh, the treble is dialed back a little bit because if you actually listen to the isolated track for this uh, particular song, you'll hear that it's kind of a darker uh, martial tone. So we have the treble and the presence uh, dialed back a bit. There is some brightness uh, because, uh, you know, most marshals are pretty bright, just amps in general. And I know some of the modded kind of slash amps uh, were really bright and didn't have a lot of low end. So um, it's kind of a fat drop D tone. So... I think we want to emphasize uh, some of those kind of uh, mids and, and lower frequencies for this particular song. Um, and I encourage you guys to check out the isolated track and you'll hear that it's a little bit of a, of a darker Marshall sound. Uh, for cab, I just used a Fractal V30 cab. I know, um, I believe Slash prefers to use a Marshall cabs with the, um, the Marshall V30 speakers. So I'm assuming this is something similar and it's a factory cab that um, you don't have to buy anything and I can share the preset without uh, getting into any kind of legal stuff about uh, third-party IRs and stuff like that so next part is um, parametric EQ I did study the frequencies of the record a little bit and there's definitely a cut in 10k uh, my whole setup uh, my tone was just too bright in that instance and that kind of what I hear on that record is that uh, it's kind of a darker Marshall sound, so um, we can cut um, a good amount of, of 10K. Um, it's pretty common in a lot of records to, to see kind of a boost around 10K, but this is, again, kind of a darker uh, Marshall sound. So there is, a, at least with my setup, there was definitely um, a, uh, a cut at around 10K and um, a slight little cut here. There was a little boost in kind of the low frequencies it's a fat kind of tone and a slight little boost here in the mids um, of course you don't have to absolutely use it the exact numbers I use of course you can experiment with this if this sounds kind of fine with your setup you can go ahead and use it you can bypass it if you don't feel it, it helps or you can uh, tweak the amount that you're cutting and boosting so it's kind of up to you guys uh, I did decide to use a little bit of reverb. It's mostly for the little lead stuff that we hear. Um, so I did add a little bit of reverb. I just like to use a large spring reverb because it just generally just sounds good and similar to what you would find on a Marshall amplifier, just a, a spring reverb that would um, sound pretty good. And most Marshall amps, if they have reverb, um, they don't have like these super, you know, reverbs. They're kind of usually kind of light reverbs that don't add that much reverb. For EQ, of course, I like to add an EQ at the end of all my presets uh, for people who download them or whatever, if they feel that uh, in their uh, setup with their guitars, if they feel the tone is a little dark, a little bright, it's always easy to just kind of make some changes here or there, and you'll get something more to taste the way you hear it. Uh, you feel the preset is too dark or too bright, of course, make your adjustments here. I think it's a common thing, even when I download presets from other people, 
sometimes I'm like, man, this preset is, it sounds pretty good, but it's too dark or whatever. So you kind of want to make small adjustments here. So that is pretty much the preset. I do think it does sound similar to what we hear on the record. I'm going to play you guys a little bit of some lead stuff uh, using the neck pickup. So you'll hear kind of what that sounds like. And then we'll just do some mono riffage with just the bridge pickup. So let's start with the neck pickup. <laughs> I do think with that kind of slightly um, darker Marshall sound that you can get a, a pretty decent little lead sound that sounds pretty good. And uh, so let's just play some mono riffage on the bridge pickup and let's see hear what that sounds like. <laughs> course I just want to remind some of you guys that when I make these videos sometimes I can't be too accurate with uh, my performances of the songs that I'm playing because if you are uh, being you know accurate with the tempos with the note for note getting it right and you have a tone that's very similar it's very easy for YouTube to copyright your video uh, so that's kind of what we're trying to avoid so sometimes I uh, might play the riffs uh, you know slightly off and the tempos can be a little off that's done on purpose in order to hopefully avoid copyright and that kind of thing so anyway guys that's pretty much the video hopefully you enjoyed the preset you get something out of it if it proves useful consider subscribing comment if you have a question and um, hopefully guys we will see you in the next video